What's up guys, welcome to your sixth WX tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you um, the last way for now to get input from a user. And that's using um, a big old box with like a list in it. And it doesn't sound that cool, but it actually is pretty useful, so pay attention. The first thing we need to create like uh, before is our object. I'm gonna name mine box, like usual. And we need to set this one equal to WX single choice dialog, single choice dialog. There we go. Make sure you typed everything right. It's pretty important. So the first parameter it takes is parent like before, and then you ask the question like, what's your fave food? And then, um, of course, you add the title. So let's go ahead. Let's keep the LVs same title and then this is where it gets kind of tricky the fourth parameter it takes is a list of options so add your square brackets and start typing in your list so tuna for your first option since this is foods um let me move this over let's see what can be beef and let's see what can the other option be sausage i guess so you can have as many of these options as you want. I'm just going to have three. Let me make sure I got my apostrophes right in the same place. All right. So again, the first um, parameter is your parent, question, title, and the list of options. And however many items you make, it'll automatically make that many in the list. So let me get this back to right there. There we go. So after this, what we need to do is just like before this box is going to create whenever you pick one of these items it's going to have two buttons OK and cancel now you only want to store whatever they picked if they click OK cause or else why would you even have a cancel button there so what we want to do is just like before but a little bit different if box dot show modal and this means the button is directly equal to WX period ID underscore OK this means if the button they clicked is the OK button that's all this means then put your little colon what do you want to do answer box and what this means is I want to take that variable that's in box oh, let me type this out get strings let me make selection there we go get string selection spelled all right so this means if they clicked that box variable then I wanna I'm creating a variable called answer and I want it to hold whatever they typed in so again let me uh I say again a lot I should really cut that out um let me show you guys how this works what's your favorite food that was the second parameter the question this title was the third parameter in your list was tuna beef and sausage and again you have two choices at the end you can click one of these click sausage click OK and this was from last tutorial should really get rid of that too but no time so again one last time here's what's going on here you created an object called box and this was equal to pretty much in here you just created that entire box like I told you before next you said alright if they click the OK button then I want you to store their selection in a variable called answer. If they click cancel, then nothing happens. We never get that variable. So that's usually what you want. And well, I guess that's it for this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we're done getting input from a user for now. We're gonna be going over something else probably, but for now, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next tutorial.